It was really a, I don't want to say a rejection of Western medicine, but it was sort of like a, a temporary halt because I felt really like abandoned. Being told you're going to die really shook me to my core. The tumor was like the size of my fist and turns out it was blocking my intestine. I went from like a healthy and jacked 160 pounds to 90 pounds within like those two weeks. I would go every two months, two months to make sure that, um, you know, that my CEA levels were clear and I was doing scans if I needed to, just to kind of make sure that it was good. So to them, it was like, yeah, we're in the clear, we're cancer free. There's no, no way in heck that it could ever come back. And then in May, it came back and it, it went from stage two to stage four. I had like um, some healers come in from Saskatchewan and she gave me some medicine. And after she gave me some medicine, I like sweated everything out. Like it was, it was unbelievable. So that was my first time ever even having like indigenous medicine and it worked because they kept on trying to put um, tubes in me and figure out like, why can't we get this infection under control? And they were having such a hard time. Like I was in there for a very like two weeks, over two weeks and I, I should have been out in like two days like to me they were just kind of telling me that that story that like you're gonna die and you're gonna die fast and it was like well like, how how can I put my life in your hands if you don't even believe in your care practices like here I'm sitting with elders now and I'm asking these questions and I'm sitting with medicine men and I'm sitting with pipe carriers and I'm asking these big questions. That's when I started looking elsewhere. So that, that medicine and like those ways that I sort of had like an introduction to, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So I started that and it was just like a dive in, like it was going to all these different ceremonies and meeting all these beautiful people and learning all these different stories and these gifts and these um, messages and it was really really empowering and I remember growing up being told like you know don't hold it in you're gonna get yourself sick and not even realizing like what did that mean like you just think it's just common you know common sense or or folktale but there was some truth to that. We have ways to help ourselves. We have um, spaces and places to go for healing. And I'm living proof, like, you know, I do what I do because of ceremony. And I really had to go through cancer to figure all of this out. <laughs> and it's been hard. And it's been such, oh, it's been so rewarding and it's been difficult at the same time.